What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really really cool epoxy and walnut serving board. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this is the piece of wood that we're going to be using for our cutting slash serving board. It's a big cutoff of walnut that's got this giant hole in the middle. It's got a lot of really cool little cracks going down here, which I think are going to look cool with the epoxy. And I think it's also got a lot of figure uh, up toward this direction of the hole. And then we've also got some really cool grain just curving around uh, the hole like that. And on one end of the board, we've got this big kind of corner taken out. This is where the bark was on the tree, and there's another one on the other side that's a little bit smaller. And lastly, on the end here, part of the big hole actually exits through the end of the walnut, so we're going to have to make sure to dam that up and uh, so that way no epoxy leaks out. So the first thing that we need to do is get one side of this board flat so that way we can build a good watertight mold. And since this is going to be the top show face, and I want to keep these little... Uh, walnut flaps in place. I'm afraid that if I run this top side through the planer that the planer will tear these out and bust them and I don't want to do that. I want to be able to fill these with epoxy. That's going to be a really cool look. So I'm going to flip this over and get the bottom side flat and then we'll be able to build our mold from the bottom and pour the epoxy in from the top. And as you guys can see these things are pretty flimsy and they stick up a little bit so the planer would definitely be able to catch on those and shoot them out. And now you can see that we plane the bottom side flat and you can really, really see all that figure that's surrounding that hole and how the grain kind of curves up. Alright, so for the mold we're going to be using plexiglass. So I cut a piece of plexiglass to fit the bottom. Now we're just going to use some hot glue and attach this on. And I also ended up adding some little pieces of plexiglass over on this corner where the uh, bark actually was. I'm going to try and pour pretty slow so that way the air has time to escape. All right, it's out of the mold and dry, so let's go plane it down. Alright guys, so I just finished planing down our board and overall it turned out really, really good. I love the grain in that walnut. So let me bring you in a little bit closer and explain to you the next step. 
So the pour went really, really good. I'm happy with the color that we have, but there is a couple little places where there was an air bubble in the cast and now it left a void. So we're gonna use a little bit of five minute epoxy and the same pigment we used for the big pour and we're gonna fill those voids. So our serving board, cutting board is coming along really, really good. I've just been sanding with a lot of 150 grit paper to get this thing nice and smooth and to remove a lot of the scratches. Now we're going to go up the grits, 220, 320, 420, and then we're going to go to some 600 grit to finish it off. So before we put the mineral oil and the beeswax on this board, I'm going to pre-drill some holes for these little rubber feet. All right, now it's time for a little bit of mineral oil. Guys, the serving board turned out really, really good. I'm very happy with all the figure that we got around that hole, and I'm also very happy with the color that I got. And like I said at the beginning of the video, the actual piece of wood that I used for this project was a cutoff from my local lumber yard, and I think it was very, very cool that I'm able to use, you know, what was otherwise going to get thrown away and make something really, really cool out of it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I'm very happy with how it turned out, and I had a lot of fun making this project and making this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you get subscribed because next week I've got an amazing epoxy project coming and you're not going to want to miss it. Also, be sure to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so that way you get notified whenever I post a new video. If you don't hit that bell icon, then you'll never get notified when I post a new video and you won't see the new videos. And guys, if you're not already following me on Instagram, definitely be sure to do that. I'll put the name on the screen for you. Seth's Custom Creations. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff and stuff that doesn't get put up on my YouTube channel over on my Instagram. And also definitely be sure to check out my website. I've got a lot of products on there, projects like this that I've made. I've got river boards, bowls, kitchen items, all sorts of stuff. There's also more information about me and some other stuff you might be interested in. So definitely be sure to check out the website. The link for that will be in the description box down below. You guys, real quick, like I said, I was using Total Boat Thick Set Epoxy. I absolutely love that stuff. I was using like a cheap Home Depot brand epoxy uh, for a long time and I just hated it. Total Boat reached out to me, wanted to send me some stuff, so I tried it out and I absolutely fell in love. The Thick Set Epoxy creates almost no bubbles and it's just an incredible product. For this project though, I was pouring two and a half inches of epoxy in a pretty big area, so what actually ended up happening was it built up quite a lot of heat and the thing flashed pretty quick, a lot faster than I thought, and 
I actually got a little bit of micro bubbles toward the edge of the pour. If I was going to do it again, I would pour it in two layers. I'd do a bottom layer about halfway up and then a top layer about halfway up. And that would eliminate my little micro bubble problem. But guys, Total Boat Epoxy is super high quality. It's all made in America. So I definitely encourage you to go check out their website and see what products they have to offer. The link for Total Boat's website will be in the description box down below. Thank you.